Hello Gemini, welcome on my channel. To the channel, I'm going to do your uh, December 2020 general love reading. Let's see who is coming and what's happening in your life. Uh, whoever this person is coming to you, what do they want from you and what's happening basically between you and them, okay? Let's see, it's a general reading, so take what resonates with you. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus or any planets if you have in Gemini, you can watch this if it's resonating with your situation. Keep in mind it's a general reading, so take what resonates with you. Four of Wands really want to come up. So you could be dealing with your twin flame, our soulmate, okay? Um, because this these cards want to really pop up again and again, okay? So, uh, what I was saying, <laughs> okay, so yeah, uh, if you want to get, uh, want to get a personal reading, so you can book it, get, you know, some information is given in the description box. Uh, join me on Instagram um, for more fun, okay? Let's see what's happening for my Gemini's people out there. Who is coming towards you? We have the Devil Reverse. Ooh, Capricorn. We are starting hot here. We have the Knight of Swords Reverse. Um, then we have King of Cups Reverse. Ooh. <laughs> and then we have Eight of Pentacles Reverse. Hmm. Could be Water Sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I'm also seeing Capricorn. I'm seeing could be another Gemini that you're connecting with. But I'm also getting like this person could have a water moon that you're connecting with. Or could be moon in Capricorn that you're connecting with. Because we have also Earth energy here. They could be Virgo. Let's see. Who is this person? Okay, we have the Six of Swords. We have the Fool. We have the Seven of Cups Reverse. Ten of Pentacles, bottom of the deck. Okay. We have the Queen of Pentacles. Here you go. And we have the Nine of Wands Reverse here. Okay. You could be strongly dealing with Virgo, Capricorn, with the Queen of Pentacles here, Presence here. Uh, we have the couple already. So, King and Queen. So, could be Aquarius. Could be any water sign. I'm also getting Sagittarius vibes here. Okay, I'm also getting Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Any earth sign, any air sign. But from fire, I'm picking up Sagittarius. And the moon, yeah. There's definitely some connection with the moon here. I told you, the moon is really important here in this relationship. I'm also getting two queens here, so it could be another same gender sex relationship, or there could be third party situation between you and this person, to be honest, okay? The moon, okay. I want to talk about this because that's what's happening between you and this person. So this person could be Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, very strongly Pisces. Um, yeah, Pisces, I'm getting strongly Pisces here, vibes here. Look at this all blue here. So the moon, this person is deceptive. Yeah. I feel this is the person, they have a lot of fear. Yeah, they, they had a lot of fear with you. With the moon, they're still, I feel they're still observing you from the far, you know it or not. Because I'm seeing with the devil energy here, some of you, this person, you were dealing with someone who was a narcissistic. Narcissic? Narcissistic? Narcissistic. Yeah, with this, sorry. Sorry, this is my words. We have the king of cups with the devil. Yeah, you were dealing with someone, this is someone that you give you everything, you know, and they took everything from you. Yeah, they took everything from you. <sighs> you were feeding a devil, you were feeding a someone who was really narcissistic, like you were doing everything, whatever they want from you. And you were really there to make this person happy and please. And... But this person somehow things did not go well with this person. So you you stop track you know talking to this person. You stop you know you give up on this person with the eight of pentacles and nine of wands. You were here. You give up on this person. You said okay, now I'm not getting anything. So it's done because this person was not making a move towards you with the knight of swords. You were here, and they were also very very clear that. I'm not serious, I'm not looking for a relationship, I want this, I want that. And you were really, maybe, really, really disappointed by this person energy. Six of Swords. This is definitely someone, you can see that this person maybe ghosted you. Look at this, yeah. I feel this person was not even available to you emotionally. 
emotionally and communicatively like this person was not even talking this person was emotionally not available closed off emotionally i don't know how you dealt with this type of a harsh person like they were closed off emotionally and they were not even talking to you they were not even making a move and you were always there available to this person so you definitely tell this person where they stand with the full energy, you maybe started your own journey with the full and queen of pentacles. I feel this is you. If you're the feminine watching this video, it does not matter. You're male. You can have this feminine energy if you're done with someone. With the full energy and queen of pentacles, you, start, you started your own journey, okay? And you're showing this person, this masculine, with this devil and king of cups, you're showing to this masculine, like, hey, I'm here. Look at me. Glowing, shining. I don't care because I can still shine. I can still work on myself because you are here in your power. And you can see these two birds here. So you felt like this is your soulmate, a twin flame. This person's life is ups and down without you. Because you were there uh, somehow feeding this person everything that they want. And they were really satisfied with this egoistic energy and their behavior. But now you tell this person, I give up on you. I don't want to work with you anymore. I don't want to talk with you anymore. Because now I know the reality with the Seven of Cups. Like you were really um, being this fantasy, uh, you know, in this fantasy. You were dreaming about this person. Like one day this person will be changed and one day this person will choose you. Maybe this person has a lot of choices. But you, look at this. You tell to this person, no, I'm not one of your options. You have to treat me very well. That's how you treated this person. And now... This person is afraid to come back to you. Look at this, how this person, the angels are saying, no, go and say, apo say sorry, apologize. But this person is like, I don't know, I have to accept this cup, I have to, you know. Yeah, this person was definitely have a lot of fears for love. Look at this, how this person is not even touching this cup, not emotions, not feeling. They have a lot of fear of love, falling in love, being in love. But I feel that they want to definitely let down their guards now for you. They really want to come back. Six of Swords. They really want to talk. With the Six of Swords and the Fool, this is definitely someone uh, who wants to solve things with you. Because this is still not done from their side. But I feel you are done. If you are a feminine watching this video, you are done with the Queen of Pentacles. You're saying no. I have a lot to do. I'm moving on. Okay, and with the full energy, I'm definitely ready for new. And new beginnings are someone new in my life. Because I know now what I want. I don't want to be treated like this. Trash or something. Or option. This person is still trying to heal their addictions and problems. They're still having a difficult time to open up to you emotionally. I feel this person is emotionally all over the place. They, and it's like, it's really overwhelming them. These emotions are these feelings they're feeling for you. It's really overwhelming them. And they really fear. They're, they're, they're really afraid even from their own emotions because they're too much in love with you, with the moon energy. Their emotions are very deep, but at the same time, their fears are also very, I would say like, yeah, they're afraid. They feel like you will reject them. They're afraid like, I don't know how you will treat them. Somehow you are intimating for this person. We have passion. Yeah, this person has a lot of passion. For some of you, this was only a sexual connection. And you wanted something serious. But this person was not. This person was playing with you. We have finances and career and deception. Yeah, strong deception. Strong. But this person has a lot of passion for you. A lot of passion for you. But they never express it. They choose maybe on finances and career over you. Yeah, with the Eight of Pentacles. They will keep making themselves busy. And trying to show you like they don't have a time for you. But even though they have these hidden feelings and passion for you. Because of this energy of deception. Like they were afraid for, of this love. Yeah, you deserve love. You definitely glowing in your self-love. And you maybe need to focus on this self-love Gemini. Feminine if you're watching this. Yeah. You're definitely working on yourself. You're healing. You're, you're definitely passing this person. Like no. For giving a learning reverse it. Yeah. You, you did not forgive this person. You may be in this energy of like, I don't, I don't want to forgive you, whatever you did to me. Or maybe vice versa. This person, if you did something wrong, they are not, they, they are not in the energy to forgive you. They maybe feel you cheated onto them. You, you, you definitely played with them. But there's a strong chemistry this person is feeling with you. They feel like you're the one. You, you compliment them. Nobody can understand them, only you. That's how this person is feeling for you. Okay. And now with this unrequited love energy, you are saying goodbye to this person like, no, no boo, you did wrong to me and I'm not going to forgive you. But this person have a lot of passion for you, 
a lot of desire for you. You are on your journey to heal, to recover, to glow, to shine, and to maybe waiting for new love. For some of you, waiting for reconciliation. But this person feels a lot of chemistry with you. They feel like they can ho only have this passion and chemistry with you. Okay? But unfortunately, this person did not treat you well. Mm, vice versa. Maybe you, you did not treat it well, this person. So let's see, Gemini's. What's happening? Let's see. We have stabbed in the back. Yeah, heartbreak, pain. Yeah, a lot of you, you're feeling this. You feel heartbroken by this person. You feel pain. And you are having a difficult time. Your deception, it's again, separation and deception. Strong deception. Like this person never even make a move because of you. And you feel betrayed. Wedding rings. Ooh, la, la, la. This could be someone that you had a marriage with or commitment with a relationship with again it could be a passionate sexual connection you were really bounded with this person at some point you were really obsessed with each other addictive to each other but you finally let this person go because it was not healthy for you this person is coming back i don't know i don't know if you will forgive them or not but this person is serious the passion the chemistry the love that they had with you they can't have with anyone else they know that you are the one they realized that you are the one. I don't know. I don't know why these exes are coming back. Why these past peoples are coming back. So if you're waiting for this person, congratulations. This person is here. We have love call. Yeah, this person is going to express their feelings to you. You're going to receive a love call, message, a conversation, a message of love. Okay, this person is thinking about you. They definitely want to talk with you. They really want to talk with you. They could be talking from their friends, like how to approach you, because they know that they stabbed you. They 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 know that you're heartbroken, but now they are heartbroken because you're not in their life. This is a love call. Some of you, this could be someone new that you're going to meet after cutting this person, because I'm seeing like a knife, like you're cutting this person out from your life. But I'm strongly feeling this is someone that you cut okay from your life you stop talking to this person you stop dealing with this person you give up on this person and now they really want to come back to you because they realize that you are the one they can't find anyone else like you are irreplaceable in this person's life gemini okay so that's your reading i will see you in the next video bye